Hello and welcome to another watercolor tutorial, my friends. We are going to try and paint a very complicated painting in a speedy fashion, simply because I am on a, a time crunch. So starting out in portrait position, my edges are taped because we're going to be covering this whole thing with, uh, with uh, mm, watercolor. Let's draw our mushroom. Uh, so we're painting a mushroom. Um, so first I'm just sketching out my mushroom. So this mushroom is going to be large. I'm painting kind of a flattened egg shape. And uh, it's gonna have like this skirt thing. And then it's gonna go kind of downwards like this. So I should have made it higher so that it fit, the whole thing fit on here, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> We're going with this because I've caught about 10 minutes. So I'm just erasing it lightly because I don't want it to show through the watercolor light enough so that I can still see it, or sorry, dark enough so I can still see it. Um, now, the reason we outlined this with pencil initially is because I want to paint the background first. Well, I guess it doesn't matter which one you paint first, but I'm gonna do the background. And we are going to start off, it's gonna be like a almost a bokeh, I don't know how to pronounce it, a bokeh effect. Um, I'm just switching out my water because I forgot to do so. And I have a sink right beside me because I paint in the bathroom. And if you haven't heard that story 50 times already, then you don't watch enough of my tutorials. <laughs> so I'm grabbing... Uh, that is way too light. Okay, make it darker. There we go. That's better. Although, no, I liked that brightness. I liked, let's pick some of that back up. So I'm taking some bright green here. If you don't, just take green and mix some yellow into it. That'll work as well. Um, and I'm just kind of using a large brush and making these dots, not dots, smudges everywhere with the green. That kind of looks cool as it is. And I want them to be very pigmented because I'm going to be painting on black or like a much darker color so I want the there to be enough ink that it is what um, what am I trying to say I don't really know what I'm trying to say <laughs> we're going to paint like black almost black around it and so I want the green to stand out. So I've taken black and mixed it with um, green and I'm just filling it in everywhere where there is no beautiful green. There's probably an easier way of, way of doing this, but this is just what my brain came up with. Um, and be careful not, unless you're painting with acrylic paint, just be careful not to go over the outline of your beautiful mushroom. You're going to have to nicely go around it. Like so. Although I realize I already kind of screwed up here. Messed up, I should say. I'll just... It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to make 
make it even darker towards the bottom. It actually should have been gray on the bottom. So I'm picking up gray mixed with this like weird gray blue color I have. And I'm gonna just finish all the remaining parts off with that color. Hmm, maybe I should switch to a smaller brush here just so I can get those really fine details. So I have my little skirt, my mushroom skirt. Okay. Gosh, we're already six minutes in. This is not going to be a 10 minute tutorial like I was initially intending it to be. Um, but that looks pretty nifty, I would say. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's pretty cool. So we have to let this totally dry. I'm not going to risk uh, painting the actual mushroom with the background being dry. Sorry, with the background being wet, it will smudge inevitably. Um, so I'm going to put a hair dryer to this. I'm just debating before I do that whether I should take some white acrylic paint, sorry, white watercolor and just add some like smudgy details there because uh, the palette that I use, I love the, the white is very opaque. So it'll allow me to do that. Like, nah, it's still too wet. So I wanted to add like highlights that kind of made it um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say kind of reflective and bouquet I don't even know if that's how you say it I probably sound like a fool so I'm taking white and I'm just making these kind of blurred out circles. I'm going to leave it at that. Let's let that dry and we'll move on. I hope this is dry enough. I don't really have the patience to continue waiting. This is going to be like a classic poisonous mushroom. So I'm going to take um, red, of course, and that's quite going to be the top portion here of this mushroom. I'm nervous to hit the green <laughs> in case it is still wet. And I want to start fading this into like a yellow, a pale color almost. So I'm going to take this nude color. No, I'm not. I am going to take white and then just apply it to the bottom and then that yellow will just naturally follow the the paint and it'll create that nude color that we're that we're hoping to go for here see that actually turned out very nicely very happy with that we'll rectify this green splotch in a moment and what are we gonna do okay so this this the leg part um, even though it is mostly white we like this does not look complete 
So we are going to add um, the gray, gray shadows. So I'm taking gray and I'm really, I watered it down, but I also added white. And we're gonna add like a little shadow to the bottom here. And below this thing as well, because the skirt overlaps a little bit. You can't really see that, darn it. Okay, let me just add a little bit more gray then. Because you can't, you can hardly see this. Like that. And then it'll come up like this. Let me switch to my bigger paintbrush. This is really a speed, speed tutorial. I'll go over this again because I kind of just blended everything together. Um, I want more of like a creamy gray than total gray. Or maybe it's just black that I want. Maybe I will add a little bit of black to this. Nope, that's blue. That's way too much black. Oh, that's not good. It's kind of going into the top portion here. That's not what we wanted. Let me pick that up with a dry brush. There we go. I'm gonna wet it again and try to mix this a little bit better. Um, I will deal with this in a moment. I'm gonna let it dry because I just, or we'll even add acrylic paint to it. So I am going to take some acrylic paint. My white watercolor would work, but I'd have to probably do two layers of it and I just don't have the time to do that at the moment. So I'm taking white acrylic paint and what we're gonna do is make those little, um, what do you call them? Like those white specks on the top of the mushrooms. So I have some that are just overlapping the green to make the mushroom look a little bit more 3D. And I'm gonna have some bigger ones towards the top center area. So I don't really like how that turned out actually because they're way too big. <laughs> so I'm just kind of mixing them back into the background, making them a little bit smaller and less visible. So what I am going to do is do what I tell you guys not to do, which is use my 
watercolor brush for this because I can make these a lot rounder and nicer looking with a good quality brush rather than using that cheap brush that I was using. So you want these specks. I think the other mistake that I made is I made them way too uniform. Like you don't want them to be super uniform looking. You want them to be um, all different sizes of specks and whatnot. So that's why I'm trying to clean them up and kind of have a restart with, with them. So like so. Something like that. And then um, I also want to make the skirt a little bit more white because we really overdid it with the, I really overdid it with the shadow work. So this is why having acrylic paint, like I love adding acrylic paint details two watercolor paintings because they really help the acrylic paint helps you achieve highlights that you wouldn't have been able to although the white the white watercolor paint that I use with this palette is wonderful I just don't whoops I don't have the time at the moment to deal with that so the last thing I'm going to do um, I'm gonna just tap some white acrylic paint against this just to make it like mystical looking and I think that's basically it I'm just kind of blending out some of those specks that splattered on because that was a bit too much But, you know, this is not okay. This is really bothering me, actually, the, the white acrylic here. So I'm just gonna take that out. There we go. That was actually quite easy. Okay, so then you can take your tape off if you used it. Mine is really stuck to the paper. And we've got our little mushroom. Um, I might go over, once this acrylic paint dries, I might go over this with another red layer. But that's, that's a really quick mushroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.